I live in Brooklyn and I've lived in New York for uh, about five and a half years. I do improv, especially musical improv, and improv has taught me a lot about listening and how to, how to make people feel heard because the most important thing in those conversations is that everybody just wants to feel heard. I really, really believed that uh, Hillary Clinton was going to win. It made people um, wake up uh, especially people like me who live in our bubbles. The bubble has been popped in a grand fashion. As a queer person, just as a person, <laughs> uh, one of my other biggest fears is that marriage equality, um, some of the things that have been gained in the last few years will be taken away. My dad is a Danish immigrant. He just became an American citizen um, in the fall of 2015. He loves this country and he loves the life that he's been um that he's made here he voted for hillary clinton he was beyond thrilled that his first election he got to vote for a woman that he really believed would have been a great president and it really brought home to me like how lucky i am to be an american citizen to be born an american citizen and um and also that I have a responsibility as an American citizen. It's a privilege and it's a right and it's a responsibility to try and make this country as good as it can be. I think I was naive. I think I could have worked harder. If nothing else, I don't, I want to walk out of the next election saying I did everything I could. I have to, I have to do something. I have to go march. I have to go, I have to make the phone calls and I have to write the letters. I want to be seen and, and heard and counted at the march and I want to be seen and heard and counted um, as a citizen. Um, and so, it, but it takes energy. I have to show up. I have to do the work.